Margs from Mashtown, right? Margs has been on a bit of a mad one anyway. I saw a clip of Margs essentially calling himself like the UK Drake or something. I don't know. He was on a mad one. Ah, oh, people know about me. I set pace. Ah, like, I don't know. He was he was on a mad one. Don't get me wrong. Margs back in the day had his time. He was one of the, you know, he was a cold MC. Um, I think, but similar to like Scorcher, he just never really fulfilled his potential. So I don't think he should be on any pods really bragging about what he set forward and the blueprint that he laid down, blah, blah, blah. Because people have taken what he'd done and those older, olders and, and ran with it and become multimillionaires off of their music. Whereas he's made most of his money from talking. And I think it's a real shame because he's obviously a talented MC, obviously a talented musician and artist, and he should be making a sizable amount of money through his art, through his talent. But instead, he's making more money talking about, oh, so who should pay on the first day? Like, it's like, come on, bro. That's that's an L. Regardless, I love the confidence and the, br the bravado and the brazenness of guys in the UK when it comes to talking to girls. So there's this clip that features Thames and this person called Doosin Wright vibing to a song called Love Me Jeji. And obviously Thames is in the front of the camera looking delightful, right? Just doing what she does, right? Hot girl shit. And <laughs> Marks quotes this and says, if I ever met Thames, I'm going to slam it on her. Watch. Some shots you have to shoot. And it's like, bro, I don't think Thames has had anybody in her vicinity ever use the words slam it on her and get anywhere close to touching her let alone breathe in the same airspace as she breathes so to suggest that that kind of language <laughs> that kind of presentation would get you anywhere is insane but these same guys are the ones where if Thames turns him down in a brutal way He'll start calling her ugly. He'll start saying she's got an attitude. So what, you don't want to get drawn? Why well, one for girls these days? You're coming out. He's like, you don't want to talk to the man them. It's like, no, no, no. She wants to talk. She wants to get hollered at, but not by you. And not in that way. That's fucking wild to, to kind of, because the thing, even other thing about it is, well, he's like a prominent person in the UK at least, but you know it's going to get on places. So you're kind of doing this in the hopes that she might see it because a blog might pick it up and shit. So you'd think you want to put your best foot forward. You might want to say, oh, wow, if I ever met Thames, I don't know what I'd say. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I might be lost for words. Like, or whatever, just gas it up a little bit. Put some paprika on your rice, bro. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Season the thing. Soften it. I don't know, like smooth the edges out a little bit. You know what I mean? Like give it the little IKEA, you know what I mean? The little edges, smoothing them out a little bit. A little bit of sandpaper, a little bit of polishing. Don't just come in there mad raw like I'll slam it on her as if she's some fucking scallywag from, I don't know, some Homerton fucking estate. Like, come on, man. Give her the grace to at least be <laughs> somewhat gentleman-like on the internet. But this is what I love about us. This is the confidence and this is the bravado that we have. Like, people talk to this. People, guys like this, talk to girls like this in every situation. Like, Miles could go to Chilton Firehouse and be surrounded by all these, like, white Chelsea baddies and be talking to them this way. Hey, yo, that's what he's saying. What he's saying. It's like, let's relax the tempo. Let's maybe soften our voices up a little bit and let's get in that way. You know what I mean? It's not that, it's not that much to do. But on another way, I much prefer this than, you know, some of these American guys out here who are just, I don't know, this fly-out culture thing, this whole shopping spree thing, just to get someone to, like, give you time of day is just wild. So if we, if I had to choose between, you know, this rough, tough language with the with the galdems, with the ladies, with the women's, with the madams, with the mujeres, right, with the fraus, I take this over like the guys promoting. Oh, you should take a girl out and go to flipping Nobu and spend all this money and you know drive up in a flipping Lambo and this is like, look, dude. If the, if you need material, if you need material things to get girls to give you attention, you probably already lost in my personal opinion. But again, what do I know? What do I know? Absolutely nothing. That's what I know. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely zero. And I'm glad that I know absolutely zero. I really, really, really do.